So next question. What is the strategy design pattern? The strategy design pattern is uh, a behavioral design pattern and it defines a family of algorithms encapsulating each one of them and using them interchangeably. So it hides the specific algorithms from the clients. Yes, exactly. So let's say you have multiple ways of performing an operation and depending on some state, on some data, some conditions, you want to use one or the other. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to move this responsibility to the client. They want the client choosing which algorithm to use. Yes. Thus, you use the strategy design pattern to decouple the client from a family of strategies or algorithms. As the composite design pattern, it relies heavily in polymorphism. And that's the basic mechanism for encapsulating these algorithms or strategies into single components and using them interchangeably later on. Exactly. So you can reuse the strategies in different clients instead of duplicating a lot of if, else, or duplicating the conditions that's going to make you choose one algorithm over the other. Yes. For example, let's say you want to fetch some data in your iOS app, but depending on the connectivity state, for example, if it's Wi-Fi or 4G, you want to load the data from different sources or from different endpoints. Because if you are on Wi-Fi, you're happy to download high-quality images, but if you are on 4G, you want lower-quality images to save data. Instead of having this if-else logic, In the client that is going to make the request, you create a polymorphic interface that your strategy is going to implement. And then you can have a Wi-Fi strategy, a 4G strategy. And this is going to be decided in the strategy layer, not by the client. Right. Thus, you decouple this decision from the client, which simplifies the client and allows you to add new strategies in the future. For example, a 3G strategy, a 5G strategy, and etc without changing the client or the polymorphic interface. Because the interface the client is going to depend on should not leak details about specific or concrete strategies. So you can also use the strategy pattern to decide between algorithms depending on low battery or if the battery is fully charged, if you have space on disk or not, or if you want to perform different kind of logic depending on some customer settings Like if the user requests you to save data, you can use a strategy that's going to request less data less often, and so on. And you decouple your application from those device details like battery state, connectivity state. Thus, your code is much cleaner, easier to test. Yes, exactly. Your code is conforming to the solid principles. You create single responsibility, self-contained components, your clients, uh, without having this knowledge of the whatever strategy, whatever algorithm, whatever logic you have and you want to encapsulate. And not just that, but you can extend that logic. You can add more and more and more uh, in the future without uh, having to change the code that you have already in your clients. So uh, it's, it's, the decoupling there is, is something special indeed because it allows you to branch out in many different logic forms, basically your application, and you can just add the new branch of logic every single time, rather than going back and changing stuff. So, I mean, just all, all the cases that you mentioned are everyday use cases. If you wanna to, to check the battery, if you wanna check the connectivity signal, all these things. Now, imagine how would you do these things if you weren't uh, to use the strategy pattern or a similar pattern. If else, everywhere. If Exactly. Like we're talking about thousands of lines probably in your view controllers and uh, with if else and flags, booleans, properties, state. Yeah, it's going to make your code very hard to test as well because you need to set the system in a specific state. That's it. Simulate that state at the UI level. Yes, at the UI level. Or at any other level there is not supposed to do this kind of logic so the strategy pattern makes your system open closed 
Yes. It's open for extension and closed for modification, which means you can add new behavior or even remove behavior without having to change your system. You just compose it differently. That's it. 